This is Ming Ming, who is an unneutered adolescent tomcat. And that's about as long as I can get him to stand still. Ow! Um, <clears throat> uh, like so many of his kind, he can't wait to go out and sow his wild oats. Um, whether I've got it right or not, I attempt to prevent him from doing that. I try and keep him inside the house. I don't want all kinds of unwanted little baby uh, cats running around all over the place. And like both of my cats, he was rescued off the street. He's an ex-stray. Now, again, like others of his kind, um, he has a very powerful sex urge. Um, he... Uh, from my understanding, I don't think he's ever managed to impregnate any female cats, but I don't know, because he escapes once in a while. We do everything that we can to prevent it, but uh, the urge is powerful, as everyone knows. Why does he feel that urge? Why does he do that? Why does he go out uh, and attempt to engage in sexual intercourse? Well, that's an interesting question. There are those who say that he only does that because he wants sex. And that the, the idea of procreation doesn't even occur to him. <clears throat> it's just a biological urge that he has. Well, I would say that trying to impute motive to what he does um, assumes that such a thing as motivation exists in his universe, in his cat mind, in the matrix of catism. Uh, the matrix of catness. Is motive something that even has any reality to him? Um, even saying that he goes out and chases females because he wants to have sex, I think is putting too much subtlety and complexity, too much humanness into the actions of something that simply doesn't have, or may not have rather, any sort of why to anything he ever does. Why, motive, is a concept that humans have cooked up to explain certain things, to explain causality. Why did the chicken cross the road? If you tried to communicate with Ming Ming here about why he does what he does, I don't think that he would have the necessary um, mental, uh, I would say, mental baggage to explain things like motives. I don't think that it would matter to him why he did anything. I don't. I, I, again, I'm just guessing here. Uh, because, again, I can't get into his own head, especially I can't understand the world through the eyes and feelings and motives or non-motives or whatever of a cat. I don't know what it is that motivates him to do anything. <clears throat> so, to say that he just goes out and chases females because he wants to have sex is probably putting too much, in my opinion, nuance onto what he does. Because to him, as far as I understand it, causality uh, isn't real. Causality doesn't, um, doesn't come into play in anything. Um, it's not that he's consciously going out there to chase females to have sex. He's just sort of, this is some sort of urge that's built within what he is, that is prompting him to do this. <clears throat> I don't believe that he's actually consciously seeking to do this. Now, that's the whole idea of trying to understand the psychology of a completely alien being is something that's always fascinated me, it's something that I've always liked um, about H.P. Lovecraft. He tries to examine alienness uh, in a thorough way. Uh, we don't have to go to science fiction to, under to try and delve into what alienness really is. We have the uh, examples at our disposal already. The, the tools of that kind of examination are lying all over the place. 
what motivates something and does motivation even exist in other things other than humans is this something is this a concept that we've invented to try and make sense of things which otherwise wouldn't really make all that much sense motivation assumes that um, time is a linear thing right now I have an unsatisfied desire in the future I hope to satisfy that desire even if the future is only 30 seconds from now I therefore have a motive what if I don't have a linear um, conception of time what if I don't believe that the second that I'm living through now uh, is somehow unique from all the other seconds in the day um, what if I believe that when the Sun goes up and comes down and then goes up and comes down all that I'm seeing is one minute I see darkness 12 hours later I see light then following 12 hours I see darkness the next 12 hours I see light and it's not a question of one will follow the other I'm just seeing what's in front of me that's it uh, there's no why to any of this I'm observing changing states it's a not an easy thing to get into in a short YouTube video but to say that um, animals seek to have sex is just as problematic as saying that they seek to reproduce is there anything that they seek to actually do is there anything that that they actually um, drives them do they understand time and existence the same way that we do we have no idea how they see these things I have no idea how other human beings see things like time uh, let alone what a cat would see as time this goes back to the appeal to nature why do we reproduce do we really understand why we have sex are we really um, in control of that are we in control of our desires are we in control of our urges simply to have sex to fulfill our randiness to go out and actually do this or or are, are we in control of these are they in control of us or is the whole idea of control and ultimate motivation and ultimate power um, a mistake that or not not so much a mistake but um, a mislabeling that we put on something why do I have a libido is an interesting question they say well you have a libido because it's programmed into you into your DNA uh, to um, to have sex or to reproduce or whatever in order to keep the species going well that that assumes that something is out there consciously writing my DNA even if it is random chance it's still something out there that says that I have to prepare this or, or organism me to do certain things I have to sort of put imperatives that well, that I build right into what the organism is my libido is apparently one of them my desire to or my need to fill my belly is something like that that there's some sort of purpose behind there that my digestive tract has a reason it has a purpose it, it, it does something that is necessary well again that's why that's necessity that's will that's whatever that's um, all based upon certain things certain assumptions a there is an unmet need and in the future that need I presume I will fulfill I will conquer I will address or is it just a bunch of things that are happening maybe it's not a need at all maybe need is a concept that we place on things um, need is a is a, a form of desire um, I can understand people objecting to the idea that we as humans have an innate desire to reproduce I have problems with that objection but I understand it they say all that we really want to do is to have sex is to pro is to get our rocks off well I would say that even that isn't necessarily true and we don't have enough information to even say that because why presumes so many things which exist as concept the concepts in the human mind that even that is far too complex a thing to, to impugn even to ourselves to impute even to ourselves why do we do anything what does why even mean what does motive even mean um, all these things um, I think are in, uh, in, incompletely worked out when we try to understand human motivation to do anything because motivation in itself is something that we don't really truly understand
Um, it seems perfectly obvious to us. My belly uh, feels a certain way. I know that if I pour food into it, it won't feel that way. And for some reason, the satiated state feels better than the unsatiated state. Why does it feel better? Well, because your biology says that you must eat. Therefore, you get these unpleasant thoughts which cause your body to eat. But that's a why. That's a why in there. That's uh, a statement that um, the um, the qualia, uh, the qualia, the, the feeling, the actual feeling behind the sensation of being hungry is an unpleasant one, and the feeling behind the sensation of being satiated or um, acting in a manner to satiate is better than the unpleasant feeling. What I would say, what I would ask is, why are why are even the the, the the qualia themselves pleasant and unpleasant. Um, and again, I'm using the terminology that I'm issuing by uh, by saying things like why, because that implies motive, that implies direction, that implies desire, that implies a plan, that implies a past, a present, and a future, which are co constructs of here. <clears throat> so suffice it to say. Um, I think that it's very simplistic uh, to say that um, my desire to reproduce, or perhaps not my desire to reproduce, my desire to have sex is purely uh, a desire to have sex. End of story. That is an appeal to nature. That is saying we just do as, uh, an, ex as uh, an existent species. We have that urge. End. Stop. No, no discussion. It just we do. Sorry, if we're going to, to question one desire that we have, they're all on the table. Every single one. Why do we breathe? Why do we breed? Why do we, uh, why do we even ask ourselves, why? Does why even exist? I mentioned in a previous video that uh, this is a great big huge rabbit hole. How far are people willing to go down that rabbit hole? Why is a question that... Uh, it can really absorb your mind once you get deeply into it. I'm prepared to go down there. I've made 80 videos so far. I can make 80 more just as easily, unfortunately for some people, but uh, we'll see where this one goes.